Revolution. Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy, not Locks, not Nation. Welcome to the show. Today we are looking at Jay-Z's Freeform Locks updated. But before we do that, please smash that like button down below. I'll give you guys a minute to do so. You don't know. Big ups. I appreciate your family. Jay-Z's Locks Freeforming like no tomorrow. They are changing like the trees in the wind. Seeing what his wicks and congos are looking like. He's got some flats and some... Congos that resemble resemble very much like fingers and hands. He's got those fingertip dreadlocks going on. This is a true sign of the freeform because these types of locks are not created or manipulated into existence via the salon. So definitely a very unique look that Jay-Z is going on with these days with the freeform lock decision. Looking from the front, we can see that his hair is starting to drop down a little bit now. The length is getting to the point where the weight is having them fall down. But, you know, some of them still doing their own thing and standing on end. Something like Basquiat. And I have a good feeling that Jay-Z's dreadlocks have been inspired by Basquiat himself. Now, in the beginning stages of his lock journey, we can see he was still rocking hats that let his dreads kind of go crazily outside of his hair very unique look uh, in the earlier stages he also did have the dread fro with the bandana quite often same kind of look here but we really see how his locks are changing over the years and i'm very happy to see jay-z at his age able to grow a full set of locks and commit himself to a freeform journey and quite frankly Jay-Z might be the only billionaire to have freeform locks like this. This is actually a pretty remarkable thing to see a billionaire able to rock a freeform lock and be on top of the business game uh, with full confidence with his hair like this. So I'm very happy to see where he is coming about with his dreadlocks these days. And what I'm noticing is that even though were they congled up originally at the hand and the finger dread stage? The new growth is locking up to be thinner than the end. You know, just having um, not as wide of a root than at the end. So I'm very intrigued to see where his hair growth goes over the years. Uh, in the photos like this, you can really see how his hair was growing back for a while. But now they've been able to uh, start to fall down and be a bit more normal. Uh, so, you know, definitely one of the legends in the game. You know, here we see J. Cole with his freeform locks. But, you know, they look different. And Jay-Z definitely being able to keep his locks looking unique. Out of the most unique out of any rapper, essentially, right now. Especially out of any billionaire out there. Jay-Z's locks just really really being vibrant in the game these days so uh, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update I feel that I'm happy to see Jay-Z growing his freeform locks in and if anybody is interested in realizing how to grow hair like Jay-Z well let's look at the breakdown of it uh, first of all he's got a type 4 hair which is the optimal hairstyle for freeform locks to turn out like this and don't get me wrong, every hair is optimal. Every hair type is optimal for freeforming. It's just depending on the type of one, two, three, or four, your locks are gonna form differently at a different progression as well. Um, so, you know, if you are a type four hair and you wanna take Jay-Z's route, just freeform it completely, never separate it, and see how it turns out. A lot of people still like to separate their locks to make them like thinner, when they when they are in the free form process but essentially we want to we want to let them just do their own thing and let them decide where where and when they want to congo up so uh you know it's definitely an inspiring thing to see jay-z be doing this so um another few other things i could add about free forming locks like jay-z is just staying patient once you dedicate yourself and you commit yourself to the decision just stay patient for a few years and you'll really see how the dreadlocks turn out 
and um, also washing routines uh, very very important at the beginning stages is to wash your hair uh, with residue free shampoo meaning nothing with perfume nothing with fragrance nothing with petrolilatum nothing with any chemicals you can't pronounce secondly uh, use cold water when you're rinsing your hair this helps the freeform process start uh, by binding your hair more together thirdly let your hair air dry as much as possible avoid towel rubbing and drying your hair um, let it air dry shake it out to really dry up uh, use a blow dryer if you really need to because it might be winter or cold outside um, but I always suggest washing your hair in the beginning shaking them out as much as you can blow drying a little bit then air drying for the rest of the day uh, you never really want to do this at nighttime and go into bed with your hair wet because this can create mildew if you have buildup in your hair and lastly is um, you know just have fun with it walk around with confidence don't care about how you look don't care about people's opinions just own your style own your crown and um, you will really progress with that self-love and self-confidence that is to be emitted when having freeform locks so I'm just gonna keep that video at that and I really hope that you guys might have learned something or grabbed a bit of inspiration from this video um, and that's what we're here doing on a daily basis daily basis dread dread spiring dreadicating and dread and dread educating and dreadicating people to the movement so I'm happy to help out with you guys if you have any questions my email is in the link in, in the description down below and you guys can email me any questions or DM me um, but yeah that's that I'm gonna sign off till next time peace out one love check out the description link for any merch that you may need we got hats and shower caps and bandanas for sale uh, and we are looking to expand the shop even further in the days to come so anyways I'm gonna sign out Say happy, say natty, people. I'm gone. Adios. Give me a shine.